Damien, job done tonight, three points? Job done, yeah. I uh, think on the whole of the game, I think we deserved it. Um, the team's come an awful long way. First couple of years, certainly the first year. I remember Dundalk dominating us from, from start to finish. I think first 70 minutes today, I think they hardly touched the ball. Didn't give us an issue. Uh, they were obviously sat in a low block, certainly the first half. So it was always going to be hard to break them down. Um, can we show our quality more in the final third? Yes. That's why I said to them after the game, but um, yeah, that one moment, I guess, magic, a longer pass, something that we're trying to hammer home, it can all be short, short, short. A duel on the side, we know Will, dragging the ball, it's unplayable, and then numbers arriving in the box, so a brilliant goal, you'd say a straightforward goal, but deserved for the manner of how we played. And that ability to break down the low block will obviously have its own benefits for the squad. Yeah, it's, it's difficult. Um, Sligo last week, here. I probably hit everyone hard. Again, a low block, we dominate the game from start to finish. Um, this, this is new to everyone. Uh, staff, players, fans, what they're seeing, and it might be boring, but this is where we're at. We've got top quality players. Teams are coming up and setting up in a low block. Um, that's the respect they're paying us. And it's going to be harder to break down teams. So, um, yeah, listen, the game will be different again this Thursday coming. It's a very dangerous game. Waterford, very attacking team at home. But uh, yeah, that's just the manner of the game, like I said, 70-75%, uh, sorry, sorry, 75 minutes, we dominate it, and then we get the goal, yeah, it flips, the momentum changes then, and we're defending for our lives, uh, that's football, and we covered every aspect of the game, so it was brilliant. Could have been a couple of goals up at half time, Jarvis has an amazing chance, Caffrey's header is just wide, were you worried at any stage, that's going to be one of those nights if we're not killers? Not really here, we debated a half time, we put two up top and here they'd obviously come out and change, they went to a back four rather than a back five. Um, we eventually put Dino on and went two up top. Um, yeah, we had them chances, like I said to the guys after the game, it's about being killers. People are probably used to nervy finishes here. Um, you know, winning by the odd goal here, you still get three points I guess. But um, no, I still always believed in the guys and we just tell, told them to to keep going at half time. Last week was a bit of a freak one because it was a performance you probably would have been happy with a lot of, but the result didn't go our way. Bouncing back, getting back to a win must be really important after that. Yeah, probably uh, was unfair yesterday. I think I said nine times out of 10, you, you win the game last week. I'd even go further and go 99 times out of 100. Again, dominate them from start to finish. Um, was really pleased except for the two lapses of concentration. But here, I guess that's why I had belief all night tonight, because I felt like the back line didn't have that lapse in them. I felt they were on it, highly focused. And then you're waiting for the attacking players to step up, which they did. Tariq Wilson was the man of the match tonight. He took his chance. Yeah, he did. And here, Cameron will be disappointed, but Cameron wasn't dropped either. Um, he's been absolutely outstanding. Um, outstanding for... The whole season you'd say so yeah we changed things up uh, obviously tactically that was part of it uh, injuries affected as well obviously Sean pulling up with something after training yesterday so um, yeah Ty took his chance but you know let's roll on to Thursday and um, let's go again. John Martin someone who's kind of creeped under the radar at times at Shells but he scored some very important goals for us this season. That's what I think I just said there to LOI TV I think it's Three goals, three one nil wins, nine points on the board. Incredible. Uh, I listen, as much as he's had a brilliant impact from that point of view, I still feel sorry for him. Why he got injured 20 minutes into his first training session for Shelburne, so he hasn't had a, uh, a pre-season. So I still think he can get an awful lot fitter. Um, which is bizarre because we're halfway through the season, but then because there was no pre-season, he's just had three, four, five niggles that has affected his training load, but he's going to get stronger. He's a brilliant signer for this football club and he's scoring big goals. 100 games in, did you get a surprise? Did you see it coming? No, I didn't. Uh, I'd actually, yeah, Marks, I thought he was giving me money at the start. Um, yeah, it crept up on me. So I didn't know about it, so I appreciate it. I know you're the brains behind it because the players wouldn't... Uh, be going down to the crystal shop to get me a bit of crystal for my 100th game. This has been a special time in my life. Uh, I've absolutely loved every bit of it. Uh, you guys, the staff, the players, the fans, the board. And you, the board keeps changing every off-season. But um, it's 
been an amazing time in my life. My kids are bought into it, friends, family. My dad lives for it. He's there in the over there in the Tolka Power as well. Uh, every game, so yeah, it's brilliant. And here, I'd love to get to 200, but we'll see. Not bad for a fellow who's meant to be gone by Easter. When I initially took over, yeah. Um, yeah, listen, I'm an emotional guy. Why did I leave Celtic? Because I missed my kids. Why did I leave Ireland? That's a long story. But here, yeah, I'm an emotional guy, but I love it. So why would you leave something that you love? Um, the minute you stop love something, yeah, that's where I'd probably go and leave it to someone else. But here, it's been an incredible time in my life, like I said. Um, had a half decent football career. But I've enjoyed this and Tolka Park more. Do you feel like you found your calling in management, that that was what you were meant to do? I think so. Somebody, I think Richie maybe, uh, Richie Sadler asked me last week. Uh, I have I've enjoyed it more. Um, the responsibility of being out in my comfort zone. I think I've grown more as a person. Some people might disagree with that. Uh, and just feeling absolutely uncomfortable. Whereas football, you could argue football in my football career was easy. Dribbling with a ball, it's all I ever knew. I didn't know this, so um, no, very, very happy. And. Uh, yeah, it's been brilliant and I'm here for a hundred here absolutely because of the staff because they're incredible human beings and um, decent on a night out as well. Do you have any highlights, any particular moments stand out from that hundred? It's like Michael Aspel, this is your life. Um, Only comes around once. Yeah, I guess so. Um, highlights here, I don't know. Uh, cup final, probably hurt. I know it still hurts players more. I was 10 feet tall walking in, walking out of the stadium, getting to Europe last season, winning Dublin derbies, ticking an awful lot of things off the list there. And you always here 2006, Rovers a couple of weeks ago was 2005 here. But the one absolute thing that is top of my list, top of my own personal bucket list uh, to tick off is getting silverware back to Tolka. That's the number one thing. So, yeah, winning games, they're great. You know, we. Uh, I want these players to remember, be remembered for doing something special and that's what we'll keep working towards. Here's to the next 100. Thank you. Thanks Damien.